Good morning, Tonga. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. Today's Studying Stone meeting is canceled. We will meet next week to go over editor positions, look at new submissions, and continue work on the magazine. See you next week. Attention chess enthusiasts. The first meeting of the Tawana Chess Club will be on Tuesday, November 16th, after school, in Mr. Yuva's room, 222. All are welcome. There will be an FCA meeting Wednesday, November 17th at 2.15 in the Breezeway after school. Anyone is welcome to attend. We hope cons you considering joining our chapter to help grow our community and impact our school. If you are interested or have any questions, feel free to contact Jacob Farmer, Harrison Craddock, or Dean Craddock. <laughs> have you ever wondered if you can beat a wrestler? Newsflash, you can't. Here with junior wrestler Sammy Dillon. How do you feel about your upcoming match? Um, uh, I'm not even sure. Probably going to win. How do you feel about the season and the future? You got to see how it turns out. Just got to see it out, feel it out. Okay. What will your WWE name be? Sammy the Psycho. There we go. All right, here's our matchup here. We got Sammy Dillon versus Logan Dawson. I think we all know who the clear favorite is. Are you boys ready? Shake hands. <laughs> Shake hands. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my. <laughs> um, I think Dawson. Here is senior wrestler Nick Engelhard. How do you feel about your upcoming match? Oh, I'm pretty good. Parker's, Parker's just an athletic man, so hopefully I can get something good on him. How do you feel about your season in the future? Hopefully I'll do pretty good. I have big expectations for my senior year, so hopefully just works out for all in plan. And what do you think your WWE name should be? Like EPA. Only a couple people know what it means, but it's fine. There we go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> if you think you can do better than Dawson or Parker, contact Coach Johnson. There's still time to join the wrestling team. Students, the first blood drive of this year is Friday, December 3rd. If you are 16 years or older and you are able to donate, if you donate at least three times in your high school career, you will receive red cords for graduation. Plus, you will save at least nine lives. Please pick up the form in the office or outside room 611 or at lunch. We will turn in. When you turn in your signed form, you will be able to select a time to donate. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Why not be part of the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy? <laughs> we will have our first informational meeting on Thursday, November 18th. Please sign up outside the office. We know how much Chick-fil-A to order and your t-shirt size for a free shirt. You'll be learning value leadership skills and working on a service learning project for the year. Key Club and Best Buddies are partnering to collect new unopened boxes of cereal for the Oxford Food Pantry now through December 9th. The goal is to collect 500 boxes of cereal to create a giant hallway of dominoes on December 9th. Cereal boxes can be turned into room 316 or in front of the office. Any student who turns in a box to room 316 between now and Wednesday, November 17th, will receive a piece of candy and be entered in a raffle for $10 at Dunkin' Donuts. Each box of cereal is one raffle entry. And now for What's the Tea, followed by Sports Luke WP. Winter sports starting this week. Our first game is Thursday at 8.55 at Goggin. Everyone better be there. That's hockey, by the way. Everyone come, <laughs> come to the girls' basketball game on Friday. It's also meet the team night, so everyone better be there. Everyone show out to both of those, please. The hockey team concluded their preseason this weekend with a trip to Cleveland. The team fell on Saturday 3-2 to Walsh Jesuit and on Sunday to Amherst Steel 6-4. They will begin their regular season on Thursday with the home opener against Miami. And congrats to the academic team for winning their division and finishing third out of 36 teams overall at the Little Miami Academic Tournament. Daryl Zizicki carried the trophy out of the building as Michelle Miao was exhausted from having to carry the team all day. Tash Bali and Kai Brown were also part of the team who will compete at the Rowdy Raider at Northmont High School on December 4th. That's our broadcast on this day. I'm not Owen West Pulley. Thanks so much for watching, and shout out Capo Caco for buying the New Jersey Devils franchise last night.